Hello everybody, this is Aaron here, and I'm gonna go through a tutorial here. All right, let's just show you what it looks like. It's got some particles coming out. It's not awfully difficult. Um, I'm using particular. It's a transition piece from white into what you see, having some fun with uh, particles. Yeah, it was really, it was really nice is they actually had the, uh, the background and the logo separated out. <laughs> it wasn't in a PowerPoint or anything. So it made this really easy. So let's get started. Start with a timeline. What do you call this? I don't know what, last? Um, we're using 4K. The comp, usually, I've been liking the gray because if it's black or if it's white, then you can't uh, can't tell if you put something black or white on it. So I've been starting with the gray at times. The first thing we're gonna do is start with a new layer, and this is gonna be particles. So, like I said, this is going to be with particular. And only a few things we have to change. We'll start with a preset by this basic blue one here. Um, it's a good starting point. So I wanted to kind of match this background. It's got these particles on. It's probably probably created with something similar. And so we can really match that. So we'll start with that. We'll start with the particle size. And the size that worked out for me it's 14 and a half. Turn up the random to 100%, the random size. Okay, and the particle, right now they're only less than one and a half seconds. We'll turn that up to 3.9 is what I had. And so they get, they can get a lot further away. Now, we need to, the motion is important because it needs to be pushed out to the edge of the screen. This is all just trial and error of uh, your project that you want to do. So we'll turn the velocity up well past a thousand is what I is what I had. Okay, so you know what? Let's change this to black. So we can see we can see it all. Okay. So that really fills, fills up the screen. You want like an initial burst, so people can see. The opacity will put, make it, it'll start at 100%, and then it can fade off after that. I had effect position, that's 100. It's quite, it's quite powerful. Actually, I have that down pretty far. So it doesn't do a whole lot. It's 16 here. Instead of a point emitter type, which just goes right from the center, we are going to put a sphere. And we're gonna turn that up pretty high, around a thousand. That's all we have for this particle system. All right, something I forgot to do to this. We'll change the settings for this and make it square, actually. We'll make it huge because we're, it's going to be rotating. We'll animate a few things here. Uh, the rotation is one of them. And the emitter particles per second. And we'll start at the max. And then eventually it'll work its way just a second or so to zero. And then they'll just fade out and also the rotation. So we put one down, put one keyframe down at zero, and then we'll just, we'll give it some rotation. We don't need a whole lot. I had like 220. And so as they spin, we also want to Easy ease that. And even that's quite a quite a drop. So what I like to, I've been using this quite a bit. The 
keyframe graph editor and then really make that nice and gradual at stopping. This one can be all the way like so, so it's fast and it just really slows down. And actually I wanted this to go clockwise as it rotates so instead of this number we just have a negative of that number and we'll rotate the same amount. A lot from this we can copy onto the next particle emitter. So we're gonna control D, call this part one, so particle one. We can delete this keyframe. That should work so we can see what's going on in the designer. Now the first thing we do is we just have a we do use the point. In the life of the particle we can end a lot faster at two seconds. Velocity I had turned down to 800 and the color we, we might change to. So apply that and now right now we have two two particle systems doing the exact same thing. Um, we can shut it off at the exact same time. So this will be on add, but the thing is you won't see it at all if it's on white, the top of white <laughs> adding it. You're not gonna see anything. This one you will. So let's pull that background image in. So you take our color and let's go from random from gradient. And so we have these different colors. Now instead of the blue, we have all kinds of different colors. And go really light with it. That helped get it to my original look. Then I add glow. I didn't change too much. Um, turn that threshold to like 28-ish. Radius to 100. Uh, intensity 55. And this just kind of helps blur it out. There's probably other things you could do. That's for this one though. Because if we copy this and put it on top of our other one, let's just hide this. This is part to turn this guy off. Oops, turn the ball off. You get a nice, nice little glow. Help blends things together. So I've got both of those. Okay, so the next part really is making this background basically fade into place. So we're going to go with exposure. So it's going to drop some keyframes and blow all of this out. Turn this up. All right. Actually, we need these to be over here. I could just blow this out, but it just kind of looks weird over here. It's clipping. So this one I turn to 0.65, only because I experimented with it earlier. And you're only seeing the end result. So move all this right here. See, it's not too bad. For now, we'll just turn off the exposure so we can see what's happening. All right, we're gonna make this rotate. Rotate in and then slowly rotate once it gets there. This so is gonna start fast. And then you're just gonna size it up a little bit. Scale, nothing huge. A lot of rotation. 
and then after that, it's going to rotate slowly. Of course, my favorite tool is that guy. So we want to smooth this out. We want to go like the same speed the entire time. So it goes fast and then it slows down. just a crawl so that along with the exposure get all the keyframes so obviously we should move these keyframes to the start so how does that look their other stuff and that is quite slow I'm gonna speed this up it's a little bit more rotation does that look with our uh, our lines here I mean, there's some yellow over here I don't really appreciate something else I did actually do is create an ellipse Double click, Let's make a mask. I can change the expansion of it. And make it small. And so it pops open and feather the heck out of it. There you go. Let me just move these keyframes over. All right, let's put it all together. At least some of it. I'm gonna move these over. I just like to put that initial rotation. I have these two layers offset. And let's bring in that vault picture. And we'll put it. Uh, in between the two particle layers. So the resize is something you like. It's a good way to do it. Put it where you like and then animate it from there. And we want like our animation. We have size, rotation. So this is the two we're dealing with. And so say it pops in, starts popping in right here. And so again, Rotate everything the same way. And so, and then we can speed that up. There's something, so there's a plugin that we have. It's a keyframe utility. It's called Motion. And what we can do is select and we can excite it. And now it'll, it'll jump around. Some good numbers if these were 20, so it doesn't bounce so much and it slows it down. This friction slows down a little faster. And then we can do the same thing to the rotation. And once again, 2050. So it grows and pops into view. For my last trick, you know, I'm gonna copy this one. This one will have under the other particle system. Get rid of any kind of rotation. And for particles a second, we'll have 20. Just to a sphere, like the size of it, huge. So four thousand. Of course, in the motion we don't want it. Just a little bit of motion, not a lot. 
so we want to travel fast. Particle type, we want it to be nice and long. 15 on that. So kind of hover, they just kind of hover. I'm gonna change this for some reason. I don't think it took a whole lot. These are gonna be a little bit bigger. We're not gonna make the size all that random so you can turn up big and small. We'll turn it down to around 20 ish. Now, opacity is gonna be the fun one. It's just gonna go on and off, on and off. I wonder if we can draw up and down and up and down. Just want it on, off, on, off, on, off. Just kind of sparkle in there. That's, that looks like what, what I want. Turn up the spin a little bit. We got kinds of particles. Particles on top of the vault, underneath the ball, twinkling around. They're just trying to match that image that we were given. So let's transition from white to whatever image that you have. If it was black and the particles came out and to shine into white, it might have been easier. But I hope this is helpful. I know we use a lot of plugins. But I uh, hope you learned something. All right, I'll uh, see you next time.